get my, I'm about to clock out. So here's my dilemma, y'all. The light is at my computer desk, but I need a break from sitting in this chair. I need a break. I need to get up. I need to stretch. I need to move my body around. So it's dark in my living room. Y'all, bear with me, okay? I'm going to cut the big light on. It's going to make a teeny weeny difference, but just, just bear with me, okay? Don't pay attention to my nails. I did the gelish polish, and I've been picking these things off all day because I just didn't feel like doing the foil and all that crap, but I'm going to have to to get the rest of it off. Don't mind my nails. Okay, y'all, obviously we got some catching up to do. I think it's been like a couple of months since I posted a video. I've been meaning to post. I was doing some shorts for a little while, like every day, and then that just kind of fizzled. October was my birthday month. Your girl is officially 34 years old. I didn't I didn't do nothing for my birthday, y'all. I went out to eat with some friends. That was it. I'm Still very much in my solitude season. October was also just like a month of me just kind of like going with the flow. I lifted a lot of restrictions off of me. I stopped trying to do like the old mad. I gave myself a break from just the pressures of like getting in shape, getting my diet together, eating this, eating that, blah, blah, blah. I just let myself breathe and relax and I made some changes, but I didn't fall off. Like, I didn't like go back to my old ways or bad ways. Like, I just kind of gave myself a break, but I still was, you know, mindful. And I really just worked on being intentional, like for real, for real, just being intentional with everything that I'm doing. I was still getting up early in the morning, pouring into myself, following my rising ritual. I'm going to take y'all along with me on a day in my life. What the days have consisted of since we haven't been speaking. Like I said, I haven't like fallen off and went back to my old bad habitual habits. Um, but I've still been, you know, just sticking to the course but with freedom and no restrictions upon myself and just allowing myself to live in the present moment and just exist and flow y'all it's like i know the lifestyle i need to live i know the daily habits that i need to create and establish and maintain in my life so just doing it without putting extra pressure on myself to be perfect and focus on results 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 how about just existing in this moment with gratitude like i literally became aware of the fact that my lifestyle is what i prayed for years ago like there was a time where i wasn't able to get up and have these gentle mornings where i could just pour into myself where i could you know pack lunch and breakfast for my son make breakfast for my other children you know there was a time where honey baby i had to go to work i had to go open up the shop i had to you know be places and the kids had to see themselves or it was a very rushed environment like come on wait as soon as i wake up it's like everybody wake up brush your teeth wash your face get dressed get ready to go you know and like now i can just relax and breathe and just have like a gentle morning i don't have to hurry Who's up come on and get them ready and send them out the door you know because i work from yeah. home now let's go it's just so much to be grateful for i don't want to go on a whole rant about it y'all but it's just so much to be grateful for and i feel like for the month of october i just settled in living in the present moment being grateful, just existing, and not pressuring myself to hurry up and be things or do things and 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 follow Good restrictions morning, and stuff so I can be great one day because I'm great today. Y'all so, have a great day. 
after I got Mitchell on to, you know, the bus, I'm able to come back home and pour into myself, like have my me time. I'm going to do some yoga. I'm going to stretch my body. I'm going to light an incense. In the very, very beginning, when I was sitting on the bed, I was saying my affirmations. So I like to do that first and then, you know, get Mitchell ready for school. Um, after that, I'm making my older children breakfast before they are off to school. And, you know, this whole routine and flow that I have going on right now in my day-to-day life is, is what I was basically saying. Like, I became aware of and even more grateful for it during the month of October because I'm telling y'all, like, there was a time where I was really, like, manifesting. I didn't realize it, you know, in the moment, but I used to write about it. I used to pray about it. I used to write down, like, what did I want my routine to be like? Like, when I wake up in the morning, you know, what did I want it to be like? And I'm here, I'm living in it. And sometimes we just have to remind ourselves to be grateful for what what we have right now because there was a time where we prayed for it sometimes we get stuck and i myself i think i just kind of like realized that in october that i got stuck in this space of always thinking about the future what i want what i don't have how to get it how to attain it what changes i need to make and not appreciating the present moment so i can't say it enough y'all The present moment, the present moment, the present moment, living in the present moment, being intentional with all the things that I do, that is really what I have been up to. And that's what I've been giving myself permission to do. Relax. Enjoy the moment. Don't think about the past so much and don't think about the future so much because you already over understand and understand what it is you need to do to attain the things that you want in your life. So just do it and enjoy it as you're doing it. I feel like it was becoming like a chore, a hassle. I wasn't enjoying the things that I'm doing, the changes that I'm making, you know. And that kind of makes you, it makes it feel like work. It makes it, it, it makes it dreadful. Like this is life. Like you are experiencing life intentionally the life that you are wanting to design for yourself you're in the process of designing it girl so just enjoy it as you design it as you make the changes and that's what I'm doing that's what I'm about to do I am about to enjoy the way my life is set up I'm about to Give myself a little bit more me time. I'm going to do some journaling. I got my gratitude journal and I have my shadow work journal. I got my juices over there. I'm going to drink my juices. I'm going to sit and reflect and I'm going to just have my moment. Have my moment where I can be grateful. Have my moment where I can reflect and just continue to nurture myself. This is self-care. Okay, this is me taking care of me so that I'm able to take care of everybody else that is dependent upon me. And I'm just so grateful that I have this opportunity to do this before I go to work. Because, yes, honey, I still got to work. I'm about to get ready to go to work in like an hour. But, goddess, if you're watching this, this is your sign to start cultivating ways to live in the present moment. I really just want this to be like a, I'm back. Hey, y'all. I'm back type of video i really felt inspired though truthfully to just pick up the camera tonight because i've been feeling a little emotional today i did some journaling and i was just kind of like you know when is it going to happen for me like things are aligning things are always aligning in my favor but things are aligning As far as like my desires for the future, they are starting to slowly but surely align and fall in place so that I can reach my goals or reach my desires and live the lifestyle that I truly, you know, desire to live. But also on the flip side, I think I've put pressures on myself to perform a certain way and I'm not meeting the criteria. So... 
it's like on the flip side i don't feel like <laughs> anything is aligning for me or particular things are aligning for me i don't know i just had a birthday i just started a new chapter in life i set my intentions for what i want this next year of my life to be i want to dive even deeper into my solitude into myself i don't want to date i don't want to date and it's crazy because in october i had like three or four guys like try to holler at me and it just reaffirmed that I don't want to date. I'm not ready to date. And I don't want to date. Especially not the kind of men that was trying to approach me. Like, no. So, of course, that means, you know, it's just another year of, like, abstaining from sex. Abstaining from dating. Abstaining from talking to. And I don't even think that it's wise for me to, like, give anybody my phone number, honestly. Truthfully. So, all things that fall under the umbrella of diving deeper into me. I want to do more inner work. I want to get to know me more. I want to dig up more buried stuff. Like, I just want to focus all of my time and my energy on me first. And then the other half of it that is remaining left over towards my children and motherhood and mothering and nurturing them and just making sure that we good as a unit because right now like that's top priority for me nothing else really matters so i'm still in that mind frame i'm still in my solitude season and it's fall the weather is changing the sunny days are leaving really okay let me get back to the point emotional right i said i was emotional today my result was like yo i really need like a reset i need a reset not that i have like fallen off or went back to like old ways but i just feel like to eliminate that you know on the other hand feeling i was saying earlier i need a reset i need a, a, a just my whole body mentally physically emotionally spiritually hell financially like i just need to like clear my mind cleanse myself i just need clarity like i just need a reset and i think that it's time for me to like detox again and it's funny because this time last year was when i did my two detoxes that like started all of this well, not the channel and everything, but like the solitude season. And here I am again in that same, a year later, feeling like the need to like do it again. Like seriously do it. Like not just do it for content, but like really do it for me. Like I don't think that I'm going to record the detoxes that I'm thinking about doing because like I really just want it to be about me. I just really want to like, you know, be all in it. But I think that's what's next, y'all. That's where I'm at. That's how I'm feeling. <laughs> that's how my solitude season is going. And, and that's what's next for me. Like, it's time to detox. For sure. It's time to detox. So, it's time for me to also get back on this thing on phone. Hey, y'all. So, we are heading to the end of this video. When I got off of work, I made me something to eat. I went on ahead in the kitchen and whipped me up some pasta. I actually seen someone on YouTube make a pasta and she made her own sauce. And I mean, that's not the first time I've seen somebody do it. But it was just, when I seen that, it just had me thinking like, I'd be spending all these money on sauces and I literally could just be making my own. And so that's what I did, y'all. And look, it turned out so good. It was so delicious. So this is your sign, sis, to start making your own sauces. And if you don't know how to, look up a recipe okay look up a, a recipe and teach yourself how to make your own sauce you know food tastes better when it's homemade anyways y'all don't need me to tell y'all that so just start doing this sis, and save your money and it's healthier for you because guess what ain't no additives no preservatives no food coloring none of that was used in the making of this pasta and guess what it was delicious it was delicious and 
I just highly recommend it, y'all. But as I said, we are nearing the end of this video because after I ate this food, you best believe I didn't pick up the camera for the rest of the day, okay? Um, I did top it off with some olives. Y'all about to see that in a minute, but I feel I put too many olives. Like they they're very strong. The taste is very strong. So I only needed the little sprinkle. And um you're gonna see I put a lot on there. So, you know. If you're trying to recreate this, don't do what I did. Just put about, you know, four or five olives, okay? And top it off with some parsley. And you got yourself a meal, sis. You got yourself a meal. So, I hope y'all like this. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thanks for kicking it with your girl. I'm back. Okay? I'm back. Sometimes you just gotta take a little, a little hi hiatus. Sometimes you just gotta put the camera down. At least for me, like I can't just always be like setting the camera up to record me before I just, I just gotta do it. But I'm rambling, y'all, because I don't don't want to get back to work. But let me get back to work, y'all. Peace. Oh.